Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested, for from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. These are the words we hear at the end of today's first reading and today's gospel. They remind us of the importance of our speech and invite us to reflect upon the nature of our communication. In the case of our speech, the purpose is to communicate the truth in charity. The first part pertaining to the essential nature of truth in conversation is very simple to grasp. Truth is essential to meaningful conversation. The second measure of speech is really the condition in which truth is communicated, namely that it be communicated in love or charity. It may be perfectly true that someone has the largest nose we have ever seen, but it does not mean that we should share that thought with them. In fact, there are lots of things which are true that are not necessarily charitable to speak. That does not mean that we shouldn't offer behavioral correction to others. It just means that we should choose our words carefully and ensure that our motivation is out of charity for the benefit of the other's well-being. It is here that we begin to perceive that our words reveal the love or lack of love present in our hearts. The greatest truth we can speak, and in fact the greatest truth we can speak in love, pertains to the victory of Jesus Christ over death that we hear about in today's second reading. Our salvation in Jesus is the greatest truth of our lives, giving meaning to our existence, and is the most loving or charitable truth that one can share with another person. From this perspective, it makes perfect sense that Jesus himself is called the Word of God. He is the perfect communication of the Father, perfect truth communicated in perfect love. Today's Liturgy of the Word invites us to consider our speech as the fruit of the tree which is our heart and mind. While there are all sorts of interesting conversations one can have about sports, the weather, science, and a whole host of other topics, there is nothing more important or more loving than sharing with another the communication of our salvation in Jesus Christ. When we speak this great truth of our existence in love, we reveal that we ourselves are truly the fruit of our Heavenly Father's love. And so as we go forward on this eighth Sunday of Ordinary Time, let us ask for the grace that our speech would always be a communication of the truth in love.